Welcome to a Code Report solution video. In this video, we're going to be covering the solution to Chef and Interactive Contest from the Code Chef December 2018 Long Challenge. The problem states, what the hell are these interactive problems? What does flushing output mean? So many questions. Chef explains it in an easy way. You must communicate with a greater program which accepts your input only if you flush the output. There is a contest with interactive problems where n people participate. Each contestant has a known rating. Chef wants to know which contestants will not forget to flush the output in interactive problems. Fortunately, he knows that contestants with rating at least R never forget to flush their output, and contestants with rating smaller than R always forget to do it. Help Chef. And the constraints of this problem are that uh, n, the number of contestants we have, are going to be between 1 and 1,000, and r, uh, the rating, is going to be between uh, 1,300 and 1,501. So really, this is not actually a, a hard problem at all. It's more of an introduction to get familiar with flushing output. Um, so in the three solutions we're going to look at, C++, Java, and Python, there are each a different way to flush the output. So uh, for C++, you can either just use end line that actually flushes the output as well as creating a new line, or you can use f flush stood out for Java it's system out dot flush, and for Python it's sys dot stood out dot flush. Um, and just in general, I'm not a big fan of these interactive problems because it makes it for more complicated problems really difficult to test your input, meaning that whatever algorithm you design, if it's uh, some sort of binary search where you're querying and then getting a response, you have to basically create those responses for the system in order to test your output. So debugging is a lot more difficult in these problems. Uh, but I guess it's good to know how to do this because in certain contests, especially Google Code Jam, they do like to use this sort of interactive uh, input-output sort of thing. So let's quickly take a look at the example that Code Chef provided us with, and then we'll move on to our uh, solutions pretty quickly. So here is the example that Code Chef provided us with. Uh, you can see the first number, n, is just the number of individuals, and then the second number is r, the rating at which if uh, the individual has a rating greater than or equal to this, we know that uh, they're going to flush the output, and if it's less than, we know they're not. And the problem states that they want us to output <clears throat> good boy versus bad boy, uh, depending on whether it the output is flushed. So. Uh, because 1499 is less than R, we output bad boy, and because 1501 is greater than or equal to 1500, we output good boy. So really there's nothing here to do other than uh, figure out how to flush output. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So starting off with our C++ solution, we can see we're just reading in our input here and an R, and then looping through each of the N contestants, reading an X, and then here we really, it doesn't look like we're doing anything special because baked into this end line is uh, a system flush. So we just do X less than R, uh, ternary operator output bad boy, else output good boy, and then inside our end line here, uh, it's going to flush the system. So C++ is actually the nicest of all of these because you don't actually need to do anything extra other than making sure that you're not using sort of the black backslash n and that you're using the end line. Taking a look at our Java solution, a little bit more verbose here, uh, basically the same thing though, reading in our integers n and r, looping through uh, all of our n contestants, reading in x, and then comparing x to r, and then note we have this extra line here uh, where we flush our system. So system.out.flush is how you do it for Java, uh, pretty straightforward. And last but not least, we have our Python solution. Once again, reading in our input n and r, then looping through all of our n contestants, reading in x, and then printing bad boy if x is less than r, otherwise printing good boy. And here we have our sys.studout.flush. And note that in order to use this, you're going to have to import sys here, which I didn't include in the code, but you can see it in the GitHub link if you want to check that out. Um, so the last thing to talk about here is the time complexity for this problem, which is pretty straightforward. It's just going to be linear in n because each of these computations inside the loop is going to be constant time. So linear it is. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start, and you can find all of the code shown in my videos on my GitHub page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.